Good morning guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today, I'm actually doing some color. I'm very excited. If you're new here, I'm a hairdresser from Pennsylvania. I moved two months ago to North Carolina and I got my license transferred and all of that. I am good and legal to do hair here. However, I was juggling doing hair and also doing YouTube as my career. And when I moved down here, I just kind of wanted to take a little bit of a break. I felt like I was getting really burnt out working in a salon and as much as I love it, it's been nice to just do social media and just work from home and on my own schedule and not have to deal with clients. <laughs> Cause usually they're amazing, most of them are great, but every so often you get one that drains you a little bit, you know? But this whole time I was like, you know, I still am not like excited or in any hurry to start doing hair again or work in a salon. But one of my friends that lives down here that I actually know from my hometown asked me if I would do her hair. And I used to do her hair back in the day. So, you know, of course I said yes, but it wasn't until this very moment that I realized I'm actually looking forward to doing this and I'm pretty excited about it. We'll see, we'll see how I feel once I actually do her hair see if that fire comes back. So this should be fun. I'm gonna be spending the day with her. We're gonna do her hair. We're gonna go out to dinner later. It'll be really nice, especially being down here and not really knowing anybody. I don't have family down here. I've made a few friends, but I don't have any of like my close friends here. And especially working from home by myself, it can get very lonely. So I definitely look forward to these days where I can go out with somebody and have some social interaction, you know? But before we do all of that, I want to straighten up my apartment a little bit. I have to unload the dishwasher, load it back up with dirty dishes, and then I have some clean laundry that I need to put away, and just like some general straightening up, like make my bed and that kind of stuff. It's a little after 11.30 and I got so much accomplished. I feel so good. Completely cleaned my apartment. Oh, please hold. Cleaned the entire apartment, got my work done, made sure like all work related things for the week are taken care of. So now I'm free for the rest of the day. So excited, I feel so good. So my friend just called, she is on her way. She sent me a picture of what she wants and it's pretty similar to what I've done on her the last few times. So I think we're just gonna do some foils, um, really blended, like a balayage kind of thing. I'm gonna pull out all of my supplies and everything that I need. So I keep all of my hair supplies in here. So we're going to need some lightener. I love Wella Blondor, it's my favorite. We're also going to need some developer, so I'm gonna just probably do 20 volume. I'll grab the 32 just in case. Usually what I like to do is start with a lower volume and then I gradually work up the strength as I'm going along so that everything processes more evenly. So I'll probably use 20 for the most part and then kind of like gradually mix in a little bit of 30 as I'm going along maybe depending on how much we do. I need a bowl of course. 
whisk to mix up the lightener, color brush to apply, and then I have all of my toners in here. I think I'm probably going to do some 9V and 9N, ooh, or maybe 9V and 9G to make like a nice beigey tone. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then we'll see if her hair doesn't get light enough for this, I have some darker shades that I could mix in to tone it down a little bit, but her hair lifts pretty well and it's virgin, so it shouldn't be an issue. And then I need my color bottle for the toner, processing solution for the toner, foiling comb. I love this one with the extra long tail. The teeth are nice and fine, so it gets a really nice tease and foils fit really nicely over the tail of this since it's longer. And then we have a cape for her to wear, foils, and a brush. Oh, and then we need some clips, of course. Okay, now I'm ready. So there's all of my supplies. Issues. Yeah. All the like, shit. Oh man. Yeah. Do it again. I know. I know because it was, it was. I think it was really good. But hopefully it'll all it's be strong. fine, and then we can just tease. Yeah, like our first episode this Thursday. Good afternoon. I honestly kind of forgot that I was vlogging this week, so. Sorry about that. Let's see, Friday, my friend ended up coming over. We had a lot to catch up on and we were just talking so much that between like our conversation and me doing her hair, I know I barely got any clips of me actually doing her hair, so I apologize, but I was just trying to be in the moment. Doing her hair went well, the results were beautiful, and I feel like, you know, I didn't lose my touch. Like it really was just like riding a bike. It didn't feel like it had been a while like it I mean it's been two months at this point since I have done hair in a salon and it didn't feel like it's been that long so that's a good thing I was a little nervous I was like eh, I hope I didn't like lose my touch and forget how to do this but to be honest like it was it was exciting and it was fun in the moment and I, I was happy to do her hair but it didn't like ignite any kind of like fire for me I, I didn't like afterwards, I didn't feel like, oh my God, I wanna go work in a salon again. I don't know. I, so maybe I will just do like friends hair at home every so often just to like have that outlet. But I don't know, we will see. I'm still just trying to take one day at a time and live my life and you know, just do what feels right. But as of now, like I still, I've been like waiting for that desire to work in a salon to come back and it still isn't here. But no sense in forcing myself to do something that I'm not excited to do, you know? And then yesterday I didn't vlog anything because I literally was on the couch all day long. It was really nice. I just fully relaxed. And then this morning, my friend Julia and I recorded the first episode of our new podcast. I am so excited. So I wanted to share everything about it in this vlog and let you guys know and announce it. We've been wanting to do this for years and it's one of those things that we kept saying we were going to do but then like it never ended up happening. So I was like, I don't want to actually announce it publicly until we actually have our first episode recorded and ready to go and like 
we know that we're definitely going to be doing this for real. So our podcast is called Girls Who Get It Podcast. The whole theme of the podcast is just like relatable shit. Like it's just girl chat, two friends just talking about life. We're going to be talking about dating, body image, career change, um, relationships, just like a whole bunch of stuff like just whatever's going on in our lives we have a whole list of episode ideas and i am so excited we really want to make it feel like an open discussion so by the time you're seeing this vlog our first episode should be up already we're going to be posting on thursdays so every thursday there will be a new podcast episode and we're planning on putting it up on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. I'll have the link to the podcast, so if you haven't checked it out yet, please go give it a listen, rate it, comment, all of that stuff. Like, especially just getting started with something brand new like this, any like engagement and interaction we can get really will help us out a lot, and I would appreciate it. We also have an Instagram page for the podcast, Girls Who Get It Podcast. Go give us a follow, and on there, we're gonna be doing polls and asking questions for a bunch of future episodes and if you ever have like any topic ideas that you want us to discuss or a story that you want us to share on the podcast we're going to be taking all of those submissions on the instagram page so please go give us a follow it would mean so much to me but just now i was taking some pictures of my new merch pieces so i do have a merch store if you didn't know currently i only have two designs up but I'm going to be adding more very soon and I just recently added two new pieces of clothing. So it's the same designs but just on different clothing items. So I added this long sleeve shirt which I love this shade of blue. So so beautiful. This comes in a bunch of different colors. I got it in a size large so that it would be a little bit oversized. And then I also added this crew neck sweatshirt. A bunch of people were requesting this. So we have this as well, which also comes in a bunch of different colors. And this is the other design I have. This is like hand trace. It's my actual hand holding all of my tools. So yeah, we have that. And then the all hair is good hair with all of the different hair textures, curl patterns. So those two designs come in all of the different pieces. There's a wide range of sizes, wide range of colors. I have t-shirts, sweatshirts, long sleeves, uh, phone cases, mugs, tote bags, a bunch of different stuff. So I'll have the link to my merch shop in the description if you wanna go check it out. I would appreciate it so much. And I tried to price everything really, really fairly. I mean, there's a minimum amount because, you know, you have to pay for, like, the cost of the actual items themselves. But I did not bump the prices up a lot. So, you know, I'm not looking to make, like, a huge commission off of this stuff. I just think that it's so cool to see you guys in pieces that I have designed. And if you do end up purchasing anything, please take a picture. Send it to me. Tag me on Instagram so I can see and repost it. I, it just makes my day. I get so excited when I see you guys in these pieces. I am going to be like living in this shirt. I can't get over the color. I love how it looks with my hair. I feel like it just makes me look so tan. But yeah, I just did my hair and put a little bit of some light natural makeup on because I am going to dinner. Actually, the friend whose hair I did on Friday, she invited me over for dinner a bunch of like friends and family are going to be over so it should be a good time and i'm going to bring benny with me so that he can play with their dogs while we're there too so it should be a good night just wanted to update you guys check the description for the podcast for the merch love you guys i will see you maybe tomorrow tomorrow probably tomorrow getting my nails done tomorrow so i'll see you then good morning i need to get ready really fast because I have a nail appointment at 11 and it's already like 10.30. I've been up for a couple hours now and I've just been like fucking around, taking my time, having a slow morning on my phone a lot. And uh, yeah, then I was like, oh wait, I need to go. So I need to somewhat get ready. And then after I get my nails done, I'm meeting up with 
someone that I met on Instagram. Again, I've had so many people since I moved here reach out to me through Instagram that have been following me for a while that live in this area and it's been really cool. So yeah, she's another hairdresser too. It's really cool when people who already follow me online reach out because I know all right, you like watch my videos, you already have like an idea of my vibe and you must feel like you can relate to me and we have things in common. So everyone that I've met through Instagram, um, we just click and it's been like super easy conversation and it's really great, so. So I wanted to show you what the pullover looks like. So this one I got in a size small so that it would be a little bit more fitted and I mean, it comes down a little bit lower than this, but I just kind of like tucked it so it would be a little bit more cropped. I should have time, hopefully, to run back here, change it to something cuter, put a little bit of makeup on, like make myself look a little bit more presentable. I don't want to be like showing up to this lunch just looking like a straight bum, especially because she looks like super cute in her Instagram pictures. So here's the before of my nails. Here's how my nails turned out. I decided to go with the pinky color. I figure with Valentine's Day coming up, why not? I used to always get acrylic on top of my natural nails, but since I moved down here, the place I've been going to doesn't do acrylic. They do hard gel instead. So it's pretty similar though. So I just get hard gel on top of my natural nails and it is nice because it prevents them from breaking, allows them to keep growing and you know stay nice and strong and the shape that I ask for is between almond and oval but if you want to take a screenshot of the nails to show your nail person I think that's probably the easiest thing to do so I came home threw on a little light makeup changed into a cuter outfit, let me show you. The sweater is from H&M, jeans are Abercrombie, and I got my rain boots on because it is raining outside. I don't know the brand of these, I found them at TJ Maxx though. Good boy. I'll see you soon when I get back, okay? I know a few people were like, you should leave his crate door open so he can roam free in your room when you're gone. And I have done that a few times. But the other night, when I did that, this happened. Yep. He, I guess, must have jumped up on the window to try to watch me leave, and he just snapped all of these blinds. So, I had to put in a maintenance order to get them replaced. I'm just not even going to take the chances. He feels safe and comfortable in his crate. He voluntarily goes in there by himself. I don't use it as punishment and he's just safer than there. I have less anxiety while I'm out because I know he's in there and he's safe. I know somebody was like, oh, if there's an emergency, he won't be able to escape. But like, if he's in my apartment with the door locked, how's he gonna escape anyway? And I'm on like the top floor. So it just, it just gives me more peace of mind because I know he can't break anything or hurt himself. Like that's what I'm most concerned about is that he will get into something and hurt himself or whatever. And I never leave him for more than a couple of hours, so. I just got back from my little lunch date. It was so much fun. I love meeting new people and making friends. She was telling me about like how much fun this town is in the spring and summer and like all the different festivals and things that they have going on all the time. And it just made me so excited because I moved down here in early December and we had a few weeks of pretty nice weather. So I was able to like go to the beach and like go exploring a little bit, but it's like the off season right now, you know? So a lot of places like close earlier. It's like not as busy. There's not as much going on and it, it's been cold it just made me like even more excited about living here and I just can't wait for the warmer weather and to just go out and like meet new people and just have a good time so excited the food was so good we went to fork and cork in downtown and I got the lobster mac and cheese so I'm going to heat up these leftovers in a minute and eat that because it's so good and then we walked around and went to a few boutiques i haven't checked any of them out yet so it was nice to just 
you know, poke around and see. There's so many cute boutiques. And I saw this dress and I was like, I need it. I don't, this, it's like really dark and gloomy out. And I don't think, yeah, this lighting sucks. So it's not doing it any justice, but it's like this sage green kind of, it is so beautiful. I don't have anything in this color, like a little mini dress and it's all like tied up and open in the back. But now I'm like, okay, uh, where am I gonna wear this? I need an excuse to wear it. Now I actually have quite a bit of computer work that I need to do, so I'm gonna sit on the couch, eat the rest of this leftover mac and cheese while I just work on my laptop for the rest of the night. I also want to watch the new episode of Euphoria that came on last night because I didn't get a chance to watch it. I have been so into that show. I did not think I was going to like it. Everyone's been talking about it. I've been seeing stuff about it all over Instagram. But I was like, what, what is this? Like, it's just a bunch of high school kids, like, having a bunch of sex and doing drugs. Like, not really interested. But it really, I don't know. If you've been, like, on the fence and haven't watched it and, like, don't think that you'd be into it, give it a chance. Like, just watch the first episode because... I really didn't think I was gonna like it, and now I'm obsessed with it. That's what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day. So let's catch up. How did your date go yesterday? <laughs> My date yesterday. If it's under two hours, do you call it a date? Good morning. Well, oh no, it is still morning. I just finished editing the first episode of the podcast that we had recorded over the weekend and I'm listening back to it now just to make sure that like everything sounds good and I sent it to my friend Julia who's doing the podcast with me so that we can both like make sure it's good and approve it before we upload it and then like start announcing it and promoting it and I am so excited because listening to the audio like I don't know sitting there editing it and like looking at all the sound waves and stuff just, I don't know, it wasn't the same, but like now just stepping away and just listening to the audio, I'm like, this sounds like a real podcast. <laughs> and it's so crazy considering like, we don't have any kind of like professional official setup. She was literally recording a voice memo from her phone and I was just recording through my laptop directly into GarageBand, like no microphone or anything. I can't believe that we're doing this and we have a podcast episode and it sounds legit and we're definitely a little bit awkward in the first one especially in the beginning of the episode but i think now we've like sorted out the kinks and stuff will be good and it'll just sound like a lot more natural it's a few hours later the podcast is up and running and we've been super active on instagram all day and it's just so exciting all the people who have been following the page and liking and promoting it sharing with their friends sending us messages telling us how much they loved the first episode it's so exciting and i was like so overwhelmed because i mean i, I we were so excited about it and i was hoping that people were gonna like it but i totally did not expect for people to be like as excited as they are so thank you guys so much it's always a little scary whenever you're like venturing into a new project especially something public online you know because you just never know like how's it going to be perceived are people going to like it are people even going to engage at all are they going to listen and at the end of the day it is just something that we wanted to do for fun for ourselves but it is a really good feeling knowing that people are actually listening and can relate to it and are enjoying the stuff that we're talking about but i just got out of the shower and i started using these products from a brand called georgie main that i got an instagram ad for and i'm filming a separate video doing a full review and a test of it i'm gonna use the products for a month straight and we're gonna track my hair growth oh because i didn't even say so they have a hair growth bundle that's supposed to help promote hair growth help your hair grow faster and be fuller looking and all that so uh, they had like some really crazy before and after pictures on their Instagram and I was like mm, I want to try it out for myself to see like is this actually legit. It's an Australian brand I just got it a couple days ago um, So I just used it now for the first time. So stay tuned for that video because 
Honestly, I have no idea if it's actually gonna make a big difference or not. And then I also finished editing a video and I uploaded that. So I am done basically with all of my work for the week. There's like a couple little things that I could work on tomorrow, but I don't have to. I could just save it for next week, so. It feels like a Friday right now. Oh, this lighting is the actual worst. Hold on. Yeah, that's not really any better. I went out last weekend and got espresso martinis at this one restaurant, and they were so damn good, and I have been thinking about them all week. So, yesterday, while I was out, I stopped at the liquor store, picked up the ingredients so I could make my own. Hopefully it comes out good, but I feel like you can't really go wrong. So I made some espresso and then we have vodka, we have coffee liqueur and Bailey's. I didn't look up any recipes or anything, so I don't know how much you're supposed to do of each. I don't even care to look it up. I'm just gonna do like a shot of each ingredient and then see how it tastes. And I really wish I had some like cute martini glasses, but I literally don't. I just have these or wine glasses, so. Okay, let's try it. Mm. Tastes super similar to the one I had last weekend, so. I'm gonna go enjoy this and just relax for the rest of the night. It's 6.30 now. Um, I've literally been on my phone and my computer all freaking day, so I'm just ready to relax and enjoy my night.